in my class I use whole brain teaching a lot, which is what you'll see is a Oh, where they use their whole bodies basically to learn. The rules have been learned with their whole bodies as well, which makes it more exciting really to learn rules in a classroom. It just sets ground rules and they never forget them and I have a very well behaved class just because of, because of those rules. Today we're talking about fractions. I want to know what is a fraction. Khadija! A fraction is pieces that can make one whole. Very good. Say awesome! Awesome! Today's lesson was to the grade fives and was about fractions, which is a, quite a difficult concept for any small child to understand. We are going to do something called equivalent fractions. Now, what does the word equivalent mean? Sally! It means equal. Very good. Say awesome! Awesome! Well, when you start teaching maths, it's very unfortunate that kids actually hate maths. But at this school, you'll find out that kids love maths merely because they are motivated in class all the time. Quickly fold your circles into four pieces. When they fold it into four pieces, they see, oh, my circle has now become a circle with four pieces. Open it up and check if you've got four pieces. Count them. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Now, a fraction has a numerator and it has a denominator. Okay, wait. And whatever goes in the numerator must go in the denominator. Okay, let's stand up and do that. Numerator. Denominator. Denominator. Whatever goes in here. Whatever goes in here goes in here. Goes in here. When they go further on in fractions, they start timesing um, by, say, to get to an equivalent fraction, they have to times by two, and whatever they've done to the numerator, so whatever they've put in their mouth, will happen to the denominator. So then they remember now to say times by two to the denominator as well. How many pieces did we cut up the first one into? Mm, Amu. Four pieces. Four pieces. So if I was to tell you to colour in three of those pieces, what fraction would we have? Nuabisa. Three of the four. You start off the year basically with fractions. You tell them, please colour in two of the three pieces. And then they basically start to have an understanding that the two is actually of a whole piece of three. What piece we want to colour in to explain to them what the numerator is and what the top number will be. And then that we originally started with four pieces. Now, coming back to this thing. What is, what are these anyway? What are these things? What are they called? Fraction blocks. One quarter plus? Makes three quarters. Those blocks have really helped them to understand the different, the different uh, denominators basically. Two over six equals two? Four over twelve. Four over twelve. Is he right? Yes. The children who are very concrete uh, can actually go up to it and then match that half block to three sixths. So they can actually physically go and do that. What did Vuyo find? Sit there. Vuyo found four twelves. So let's write that into our books. And the reason why I tell them to write the sums down of what we're doing, so if I said this is two thirds plus one third, what is the answer, is because they can then take what they're learning in their brain and put it straight onto paper. They put it in their books and then that's when you know that one and one has equal two in their brain and they actually understand the concept. Pizza people, come up here. Quizzy over here is the star of the show because why? What does she have? Thelma. She has one whole. She has one whole what? Pizza. Very good. Okay, if I gave Quasi, one of these, what would that make it? What would our answer be? Yes? One and a half. Using the pizzas was a very good way for me to relate to their real world because a child doesn't just learn in school and it's not very good for me just to relate it to some piece of red paper in the beginning and then there's no other relation to their actual world that they live in. Say so thanks pizza people! Thanks pizza people! 
so they now will go home and say hey mom look it's a whole pizza but it's been cut up into eight pieces and then they could say okay but now if we have 16 people we'll have to half all those pieces to get 16 pieces. Kids can't just learn a concept once it never works that way you can never just learn a concept um, once and then think oh, okay no the kids are going to understand this you actually have to make sure that you're repeating the same thing at least three times so that they can actually get a feel for what they're doing so that's why I started with the red circle move to the pizza and then move to those fraction blocks is because they can then relate all of their learning to three different levels of, of thinking how many does Quezy have now? Younger said one and three eighths, right? I want to see if you can write one and three eighths in your book. So you write it. Let's see if you can do one and three eighths. And the reason why I tell them to write the sums down of what we're doing, so if I said this is two thirds plus one third, what is the answer? Is because it's repeated again onto the paper. So there's not only those three repetitions, there was also the last repetition which was on the paper. And then they can, they can basically see that that this fraction and this fraction will make this fraction and they put it in their books and then that's when you know that one and one has equal two in their brain and that they actually understand the concept.